Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. John's Penthouse When Marlena walks into the living room, she discovers that John is dozing off on the couch. Just before midnight, she wakes him up, and they exchange Happy New Year wishes. Brady and Tater Toad are still not home, the two observe. John inquires about Marlena's New Year's resolutions. John claims to have one, despite their mutual declarations to the contrary. He will never let the sun set without telling her how much he loves her, Lisai. They kiss as she coos. Daddy Timothy texts John, and they talk about how they met a year ago. They then discuss John and Steve's misgivings regarding Constantine and how they are keeping an eye on the situation. John brushes Marlena off as she presses for information, telling her they actually have the place to themselves. They dash to the bedroom after that. University Hospital Lobby, Tate, Brady, and Theresa are waiting on word regarding Holly. Brady hears Trip inform Rafe that Holly appears to have overdosed and is now in a coma. Brady asks for an update as Trip leaves. Rafe invites Tate to retell the evening's events saying he has to ask him some questions. Tate claims that at the end of the evening, Holly took the pills out of her purse. E.J. shows in right then, accuses Tate of lying, and orders Rafe to put him under custody. E.J. is told to slow down by Rafe. The police who observed Tate with the pills updated E.J. Tate clarifies that he was attempting to keep Holly safe and was at a loss on what to do. Since Brady and Theresa are both drug addicts, E.J. doesn't think Tate's product is worth buying and claims that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. He turns to face Tate, threatening to imprison him. Theresa snaps at E.J., reminding him that addiction is an illness. Rafe states they don't have enough evidence to arrest Tate after Brady sues her. According to E.J., the doctors claim that Tate will face charges because the pills contained opioids. Rafe tries to calm him down but E.J. won't stop using phrases like attempted manslaughter and tried as an adult. When Rafe interrupts and says he needs to question Tate, who keeps to his tail, Theresa shouts at him. Holly offered him some pot, but he declined, remembering that on Christmas Eve he was smashed when she did so. Brady interjects, stating that Tate is filling in for him, and E.J. lashes out once more. When Tate comes back and says that Holly is being taken to the ICU, Brady urges Rafe to arrest him. Rafe promises to take Brady down to the station and sends EJ off to be with his family. Tripp remarks about his mother working at the bistro and how unhappy she must feel once EJ leaves. Brady is handcuffed, given his rights, and driven to the station by Rafe. The bistro. Stefan tells Ava that the tainted batch of medicines came from their shipment after hanging up with Clyde. He has instructed them to clear the streets of Salem of any leftover merchandise. Ava says she can phone these people and shares her suggestion. When Stefan sees that Ava is sincere and still has ties to the mob, he offers her the business. She put a lot of effort into separating herself from that life, so he orders her to get down. Although Ava is grateful for his compassion, it is more crucial that they address the issue. As Ava answers the phone, she remembers sitting with Nicole and watching Holly play. If something were to happen to Nicole's daughter, she would not be able to live with herself. Ava receives a call at that very moment from her team, who are working swiftly to rid the streets of the tainted cocaine. That's when Tripp shows there, telling her that Holly is still unconscious. He begs Stefan to spend some time with his mother by himself. Trip queries Ava about her possible connection to the poisoned medications. Trip responds that if she tells him the truth, he won't judge her when she questions him. Trip describes what transpired in the final several months before she was hired by the bistro, including her murder of Gil. He continues by raising concerns about her split from Harris and her recent relationship with Stefan. Tate and Theresa return and inform John and Marlena about Holly's overdose and Brady's arrest at Marlena and John's penthouse. Theresa stops Tate as he tries to tell John and Marlena the truth. While Marlena dashes to the kitchen in search of some warm milk, 
John walks to the police station. Theresa gives Tate a quick look and tells him to shut up. She advises him to let Brady and John handle the case. Marlena reappears at that moment, and Tate leaves to lie down. Brady declines to call a lawyer when Rafe begs him to in the Salem Police Department interrogation room. Rafe is attempting to allow Brady some space to clarify his account. Brady recants his admission of guilt, but Rafe doesn't buy any of it. He warns him that Tate will appear more guilty if he lies. Rafe continues by emphasizing how much Tate will depend on him. Brady believes that E.J. wants to take the fall and doesn't care about justice. Theresa tells Marlena that she finds it unbelievable that Brady has resumed using. She claims she's going to catch Alex up on the evening's happenings after sowing that seed. When she discovers Tate is no longer with her, she goes to say goodbye. Ava tells Tripp that she ended their relationship because Harris cheated, but she gets irritated when he presses for answers. When he announced that he and Wendy were moving to China, Tripp wondered why she hadn't asked him a question. He wants her to explain the situation to him. When E.J. shows there, Stefan goes into the alley behind the bistro and accuses Stefan of hurting Holly. When John gets there, he tries to find Brady a counsel. Tate enters the interrogation room at that same moment, telling Rafe he should go to jail because he had the drugs. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Brady Black has had a difficult few months. It all began when Kristen DeMera was granted full custody and cut off from him seeing Rachel Black. Brady then had to deal with the controversy of Tate Black's boarding school and all of the co-parenting issues that came with Theresa Donovan. Tate is now involved in the Holly Jonas overdose situation, for which Brady attempted to accept responsibility but was unable to do so. Brady will have more problems as Tate arrives in Statesville and gets beat up almost right away. It's clear that Days is gradually driving Brady closer to his breaking point. For Brady, the week of January 8 to 12 will be even worse than the last. Christian's challenging custody status will resurface as a significant problem. On New Year's Eve, Brady was meant to go on a father-daughter date night with Rachel, but Kristen abruptly had her out of town. Brady will also lose out on future opportunities to reunite with Rachel because of this, which made him miss out on important time spent together. According to teasers for days, Brady will have to postpone seeing his kid in order to help Tate, which may make Rachel think he's favoritism. Undoubtedly, Kristen will lose her cool with Brady and make Deidre Hall's Marlena Evans arbitrate their altercation. Sadly, it seems that Brady abandoning their new plans may cause Rachel to lose it. Brady will confront Kristen for manipulating Rachel against him, but Kristen might counter that Brady is to fault for Brady's absence from their planned meeting. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.